Okay, this is the beginning of the rack that's going to hold all the solar panels. What this will do is <coughs> articulate from this pipe. And if you notice, what we have here is it starts out with that pipe there. That'll be the center axis. And I've got a couple of brackets mounted on there. And then you got the outer frame of that. And then I connected the large unistrut or super strut to that with muffler clamps. See how I did that? This is an uh, inch and three quarter pipe, inch and three quarter um, muffler clamp. So I got that mounted on there. And then those two run full 10 foot. And then these are the smaller unistrut in 10 foot lengths. And they run the other direction and the way this will work is here let me get <clears throat> be able to put one row of solar panels here and it'll fit one two three and then four five six I'll be able to fit six panels on this um, I'm going to I think beef up the center axle and run another support um, here kind of something like this so I don't get any any twisting uh, from corner to corner and that'll just ensure that it'll be nice and sturdy at this at this center juncture when uh, when I get that when I get that finished up and then I've got to get me a like a four or six inch steel pole and uh, weld a couple flat plates and some gussets on it and uh, somewhere in this area I'll uh, I'll put a pillar dig a hole and put a pillar in the ground with uh, with four bolts sticking out of the top and then I'll mount the whole post on there, a six inch mast on that and then we'll mount this on top of it and then she'll be able to articulate and watch everything but that's what I've got so far. Um, I need to get them other three panels out here for sure. But I've only got three or four of these, so I'll end up having to go find me two more uh, panels so I can have six all together. And then I'll run... I've got eight slots on the breaker panel, so I'll have six of these, one of those, and one of those. That'll take up all eight spots on the panel board. We'll see what we get out of that. All right, so I just wanted to show that, and uh, what uh, the only thing I think I didn't cover was how I mounted this unistrut to this unistrut or super strut, however you call it. And that's uh, these are called unistrut nuts, spring nuts, and uh, I use three eighths here to here, and also this is three eighths as well. Now the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it. These are zinc. Um, and uh, they could rust easy and this is obviously just plain steel so I'm going to take all this back apart and I'm going to epoxy paint everything and then when I put it all back together I'll hit all of these nuts and bolts again uh, and uh, get rid of any scratches that may be there put a second coat on everything so just to help keep it a little more weather tight and uh, and then this is what I'm going to use to mount the, the panels. There will be, <clears throat> these are uh, quarter 20s. So um, I'll put some type of uh, gasket or rubber material between the panel and this because we have two different types of metal. We could end up with some electrolysis happening between the frame and the panel. So I will just ground each panel individually to each other and ground it to my mast when I get that put together. So anyway, there's the beginning of my mount, my pole mount for the solar panels. Thanks for watching.